Hey guys, I'm Thomas with a scholarship that is due in the month of May. If you're new here, I do put out videos like this where I'm highlighting scholarships that you can apply for throughout the year. So if you don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and subscribe. Now we're going to jump right in so that you can begin to future-proof your life right now. So our scholarship today is the Stop the Bleed Scholarship Program. Now, some of you may not have heard of Stop the Bleed, so we will get into what it is, and you will need to know what it is in order to write the scholarship or do the video that we will get into. Um, so don't worry about what it is just yet, but how how much is it is important. You can win up to $3,000 with this scholarship. Now, when is it due? It's going to be due on May 5th. There's a Stop the Bleed Day that occurs in May, which I believe is May 19th. So this occurs on May 5th is when it's due, and they're going to actually announce the scholarships on the Stop the Bleed Day throughout the day. So that's partially why they have it scheduled in that way. Now, uh, are you eligible? Well, basically, if you're a high school student at this point, then you are eligible if you're a high school student in the United States. And so what is it that you have to do? Well, you're either going to make a one to two minute video or a 250 to 500 word essay. So what else do you need to know? Well, in addition to the $3,000 first prize, there is also a second prize and a third prize, and we will get into the values and how that works. Uh, but just know that you don't have to be the top winner. You can be a second or third place finisher, and you would still have an opportunity to win. Now, there is, in addition to that scholarship, a additional scholarship you can apply for called the Frontline Family Scholarship, and I will get into that as well uh, as we go through this next part, which is how to apply. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull up their website here. So this is the Stop the Bleed uh, web page. And again, it's the Stop the Bleed project, which you can see here. And as we go down here, it says the application period for this scholarship program consists of this is the national scholarships and frontline family scholarships. And they open in, on March 15th and they end again on May 5th. So as we go through here, we're going to scroll down. Here's your options. You can make a one to two minute video. Uh, or write an essay for 250 to 500 words addressing the topic below. Uh, one of, again, highlighting one of. So here's your topics. Describe or show how you think Stop the Bleed helps to enhance personal and community resilience. Topic number two, describe or show how Stop the Bleed training can help at an accident before emergency resp responders arrive. Or topic three, make the case. Do you think some or all students should be required to learn to stop the bleed? And again, we're going to get into exactly what that means here in a bit. Continuing down here, uh, in addition, the schools of the winning students will receive free Stop the Bleed kits. So it's uh, in addition to the money that you individually will receive, your school is going to receive some Stop the Bleed kits as well. So that's kind of cool. Continuing down here, this is the actual kind of details of the scholarship. So it says there are two sets of national scholarships. So the first one is the video submission and the second one is the essay submission. So these are actually separate separate accounts, like separate scholarship uh, applications. So you, can, you can't apply for both of them. You can only apply for one of them, but you can choose to apply for the video or choose to apply for the essay and there will be a winner of both. Uh, there will be a video uh, submission winner and a essay submission winner. So they're kind of two separate scholarships happening at the same time. So just keep that in mind as well. First place, $3,000 awarded to the student and 30 kits to the high school. $1,500 for second place and 15 kits. And $500 for the scholarship for third place and five kits is sent. And so then if you click on here, apply, then this brings you to this and you just fill it in right now. I already kind of went through here, so that's why it's saying that there's nothing filled in. <laughs> but uh, And this part says, tell us about your connection to Stop the Bleed. This is, uh, how did you hear about the program? And then you're going to submit uh, your school information, territory, zip code, all this stuff here, parent information. And then you're going to submit, am I doing, am I choosing the essay or am I choosing the video? And then you would hit submit my entry right there. So I'm going to go back to the previous page so that we can look at that frontline scholarship, which is right here. So this is the Frontline Family Scholarship. Now they wanna highlight, again, COVID-19 pandemic has given us all a better appreciation and the important role that so many play in making our country work. And all of those who perform front work on the front line, making sure that we have food, teaching our children, taking care of us, blah, blah, blah. So it says our police, firefighters, EMTs, and those serving in the military, Frontline Family Scholarship is offered to high school students who have a parent or guardian who has been on the front line since the beginning of COVID-19 pandemic. So that's the that's the premise of this scholarship. And what you're going to write about, it says write an essay or make a video. So same same option, you have you can make a video or the essay. And all you're going to do is tell the family's story, what your parent or guardian has been doing on their front line 
and what you have learned from that. And this scholarship, which is a separate scholarship again, is a thousand dollars and 10 uh, Stop the Bleed kits would be sent to the high school if you are the winner. And you'd click here and go through that same process as, the, as before. Now, some of you might be asking, what is Stop the Bleed? <laughs> what are we even talking about? So if we go to the about page, you can kind of see here that basically it's a, a project that was founded and the whole point is that it's a, basically trying to help people understand how to stop the bleed. Literally, we're talking about bleeding, like if somebody's bleeding and they kind of go here, why it matters. It says uncontrolled bleeding is a major cause of preventative death. Approximately 40% of trauma related deaths worldwide are due to bleeding or its consequences, uh, establishing hemorrhages as the most common cause of preventable death in trauma. So these are some stats. It says the average time to bleed out is only three to five minutes, but the average time for a first responder to arrive is seven to 10 minutes. So if there's somebody who's there on site and able to address this person to help them stop bleeding, it might give them enough time to stay alive until first responders show up. So this is kind of a training and, and also an advocacy and kind of a activist area to try to highlight that this is a thing, right? That people are dying from this. So help training people on what they can do. That's what this is all about. That's the Stop the Bleed, that's the scholarship, and that's what we're learning about here. So um, in addition to that, if you want the link for this scholarship website, you can go straight there, as well as other scholarships I have that are all due in the month of May. There's a PDF that you can download. It is in the description. So just click on that and download your free PDF from there, as well as if you want other ways in addition to scholarships to pay for college. I have a seven-step process that I highlight through my course that you can sign up for as well. And if you take that, you'll learn all the different strategies to pay for college, not just scholarships. So again, if that's something of interest to you, then go ahead and take that course, sign up in the link below. And also, if you want to continue to watch more of my content or more scholarships, you can click on this video here, learn more about college and paying for college and scholarships, or you can watch this video here that YouTube thinks you need to watch next. Either way, we're trying to future-proof your life together. We'll see you in the next one.